Hello, welcome back to the online recitation class. Today I will be discussing the last module, which is about state space and modern control system. I hope you already uh, went through this module because I will be discussing some problems on this topic. Uh, these problems are pretty similar to the homework, so I hope this recitation will help you to solve the problems for your homework. Okay, let's start with problem one. We have transfer function and we, we want to design the state space representation. So there are three set space representations uh, actually there are more but we are focused on three the controllable observable and diagonal form all right first um, we want to have a controllable canonical form for this transfer function so how to how to get this transfer function well we can follow uh, the steps from the module so suppose this is our transfer function for controllable if we have this uh, transfer function and we know the parameters a1, a2 and b1, b2, b0 then the controllable canonical form can be simply expressed by this set space so it's one on this upper diagonal minus a n and this is the b matrix this is the a and this is the c so we can uh, use this this form right here to directly get the transfer function but here i want to show you how to get this transfer function without following this so we'll derive how we get to this form all right so have you I hope you can learn from this. To proceed, um, we divide this transfer function into two. So we express y over u with phi, so a new variable phi over u multiply by y over phi. Right? So this is pretty simple. For the first term, phi over u we get to this uh, differential equation so all right then we define x1 up to x3 with phi so x1 is phi x2 is phi dot x3 is phi double dot then we can deduce x1 dot is phi dot so x1 dot is x2 right and x2 dot is phi double dot which is equal to x3 and x3 dot is phi uh, the third derivative right so the third derivative is equal to minus 6 phi double dot minus 5 phi dot minus 10 phi plus u and then we substitute phi dot with x3 sorry phi double dot with x3 phi dot with, with x2 and phi with x1 you get the first equation and for the output equation we look at this form y over v so y over v is 10s plus 10 which which is equal to y equal to 10 v dot plus 10 v we substitute v dot with v2 sorry we substitute v dot with x2 and v with x1 so we get this equation y equal to 10 x2 plus 10 x1 so we can construct the state space as follows so x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot equal to the a matrix multiply by this factor x1 x2 x3 plus b u so the a matrix you can get it from this equation x1 dot equal to x2 so 0 1 0 x2 dot equal to x3 0 0 1 x3 dot equals to this minus 
10 x1 minus 10 minus 5 x2 and then minus 6 x3 so that's how you come up with the A matrix and for the B the input U only exists on the x3 dot so you have 001 times U and the output 10 x1 plus 10 x2 plus 0 x3 therefore this is the the form of the canonical state space um, controllable canonical state space all right next we will derive the observable form okay why of s over u of s can be expressed by this right so we cross multiply this we get this form and from this we can express express x cube times y of s equal to this form right multiply both sides with one of s cube you get this then you factorize one of s out since we have one over s cube then there should be three right three one over s one over s the first one one over s one over s so you have to get this form which, which should be equivalent to this form so they are equal and from this form uh, we can start deriving the observable canonical form okay so we look at first we look at this one over s times everything inside the bracket as x1 as defined here so this is x1 right if this is x1 then x1 dot is just minus 10 y plus 10 u right because look at here x1 is equal to 1 over s times x1 dot so that's how you get x1 dot is s times x1 so you multiply this with s we get this minus 10 y plus 10 u how to get this uh, i will explain this later so let's move on to x2 similarly everything here is x2 so 1 over s times everything inside the bracket is equal to x2 since this x1 so we have x1 from this observation we get x2 dot is equal to minus 5y plus 10u plus x1 next x3 is everything here so y equal to x3 okay 1 over s multiplied by minus 6y of s plus everything here is x2 therefore x dot x3 dot is minus 6y plus x2 then we substitute y so we have y here substitute y with x3 we get these three equations x1 dot x2 dot and x3 dot therefore we can construct the state space in observable form x1 dot is 0 0 minus 10 plus 10 u x2 dot is 0 0 minus sorry you have 1 here so 1 x1 plus 0 minus 5 x3 plus 10 u and then x3 dot is 0 x1 1 x2 minus 6 x3 and there's no u so 0 here and the output is just x3 so 0 0 1 because 0 times x1 0 plus 0 times x2 plus 1 times x3 so y is equal to x3 this is how you get the state space in observable canonical form the next problem i will show you how we get to diagonal canonical form from differential equation okay so we have a differential equation we obtain the transfer function and then uh, if we apply the partial fraction expansion uh, to get this okay so i hope 
you still remember how to apply partial fraction expansion to get this okay so you can work this out to get this and then we can start multiply the numerator and denominator with 1 over s on all of the uh, terms here we get this form and then we multiply both sides with u of s you get this okay each of these term corresponds to the each state so in my case here the first term corresponds to x1 second is x2 the third is x3 but it doesn't have to be that way because it's not unique so you can regard this x x3 this is x1 this is x2 it doesn't matter you will get the same result okay so everything here you u of s over the denominator uh, we define it as s times x1 so u of s is equal to this from since s times x1 so if you remember s times x1 here s times x1 equal to x1 dot right so we have x1 dot is equal to minus 3x1 plus u similarly on this on the second term everything here is s times x2 you get x2 dot equal to minus 2x2 plus u similarly on the last term we get x3 dot equal to minus 3 plus u since uh, everything here is equal to 3 times x1 minus 6 times x2 plus 3 times x3 the diagonal canonical form we can construct it as follows so x1 dot is minus 3x1 plus u minus 3x1 plus u x2 dot minus 2x2 plus u so 0 minus 2 0 plus 1 u and x3 0 0 minus x3 0 x1 0 x2 minus 1 x3 and plus 1 u and the output is 3 minus 6 and 3 3 minus and 3 okay so that's how you get the diagonal canonical form okay so this is how you get the state space in the form of controllable observable and diagonal canonical forms you don't have to be confused okay if you do, do, do not really want to follow these steps you can just uh, apply this from the module for the controllable canonical form and then this one is for observable this one is for diagonal okay uh, no problem you can apply this this technique directly or if you want to understand how we get to this form you can follow my steps okay i hope that's clear the next couple problems will be related to how we get a time domain solution of state space system okay so basically there are differential equations given an initial condition x of zero what is the trajectory of the states we have a two by two matrix so this is a matrix therefore the uh, since a is two by two so there should be two states right x1 x2 we want to find the trajectory of the system given this initial condition with no external input so there's no external excitation to the system therefore the the state space is a natural response right there's no input there's no external input so it's a natural response to get the time domain solution we need to uh, we need to solve this right if you look at the module 
here so you are given a system with no in with no input external input the time domain solution x of t is equal to e to the a t times initial condition so we need to find the matrix exponential of a right the same here we need to find the matrix exponential e to the a t how to get this um, first we need to find the eigenvalues all right so we solve this equation to get the eigenvalues determinant of s times i i is identity matrix minus a must be equal to zero okay so just follow this and then we get this matrix so this si minus a you get this matrix take the determinant determinant of two by two matrix uh, you can do it very easily s times s plus four minus minus one times three you get this second order polynomial and the roots are minus one and minus three so we know that the system has negative eigenvalues it tells us that the system is stable it has poles at minus 1 and minus 3 okay after that we need to find the corresponding eigenfactors for the first eigenvalue minus 1 what is the eigenfactor so this should be v1 okay let's say that v1 is the eigenfactor that corresponds to lambda 1 the first eigenvalue okay so a minus lambda i times phi equals zero and we need to find phi that satisfies this equation so a minus lambda i is equal to this matrix 1 1 minus 3 minus 3 phi 1 phi 1 1 phi 1 2 we need to find this phi 1 1 phi 1 2 from this we get linear equations solve it um it gives phi 1 1 must be equal to negative v12 so we v1 and v2 are the same number but they have uh, opposite sign right one is positive the other is negative but they are the same any number so for simplicity i take v11 equal to minus one therefore v12 is one right the second eigenvalue uh, we find the corresponding eigenfactors v2 v2 1 v2 2 you get another uh, linear equation solve for it you get this condition v2 2 equal to 3 v2 1 any number that satisfies this is okay again for simplicity i take v2 1 equal to 1 therefore v2 2 is 3 right we have the two eigenfactors we have the two eigenvalues so we can construct the matrix exponential e to the 80 look at the module so this is the matrix exponential right e to the 80 if we there's no t here so if we just put t then t will appear here so e to the lambda 1t e to the lambda 2t and so on v1 v2 up to vn are the eigen factors okay so this v1 v2 v1 v2 inverse so inverse the matrix and the first one e to the minus t and this one e to the minus 3 t you just need to simplify this matrix this matrix exponential you can do this you get this final form e to the 80 therefore the final answer is e to the 80 is multiplied by the initial state x0 so we multiply this with this factor 1 minus 1 we get this solution x1 is equal to e to the minus t and x2 
is equal to minus e to the minus t. You can see x1 starts from 1 and x2 starts from negative 1, right? Um, okay, so let's plot it. Let's plot it. Okay, so this is the plot of the system we have. So I wrote the A matrix, initial state or initial condition, the B matrix. C1 and C2 are the outputs, but C1 corresponds to the first state and C2 corresponds to the second state. First, I plot the first state, trajectory of the first state. It starts from 1 and it converges to 0. How about the second state? The second state will start from minus 1. And it will converge to zero as well. Start from minus one, the red line, and it converges to zero as well. Okay. So that's the sec. Sorry, the third problem. The last problem is similar to the previous one, but uh, we want to find the trajectory of the system with external input u of t. Now we have u of t equal to 4 times e minus 2t and of course the b matrix um, is given by this 0 and 1 so the u of t is injected to the second state okay look at the module for system with input so the complete system, the time domain solution is given by this. X of t. So the natural response plus the corresponding response from the external input. Right? We already computed this. In, in problem 3 so now we just need to deal with this integral okay so we need to deal with this integral right previously we have e to the 80 equal to this here we just need to substitute that matrix uh, t t here is replaced by t minus tau because we have t minus tau over here, so we replace t with t minus tau from this matrix, it becomes this matrix. And then b matrix 0, 1, and then the u, the input u of t, sorry, u of tau, and solve the integral. For simplicity, first we multiply e to the a, t minus tau with b. We get this and then we can multiply this with the input 4 times e to the minus 2 tau because u of tau so this is tau equal to this which is simplified to this okay so integral of a factor is a factor of integral right since integral of e to the ax plus b dx equal to 1 over a times e to the ax plus b plus c we can use this uh, formula to solve this integral we get this evaluate from 0 to t from 0 to t uh, we get this this form and then since this is just the integral then we just need to add the answer from the previous problem this one so this this vector is equal to this we add that with uh, this integral right here we add this we add the we add it with this factor and the final solution is this one x of t is equal to this okay since now we have external input then the solution or the trajectory of the states will not be equal to this because we have input what does it look like 
um, okay so we plot so define the time factor from 0 to 9 seconds for example because this from 0 to 9 seconds and the input is u is 4 times e to the minus 2 t right use LCM we can plot uh, the both states x1 x2 let's run it wow okay so we can compare the trajectories this is uh, without input this is with input you can see that the trajectories are are different right because now we have input there is some kind of oscillation on the second state and uh, another um, oscillation here but not that much compared to the second state okay the system is still stable so they still converts to zero all right okay so that's the end of the recitation lecture i apologize if uh, you spot any mistakes and good luck with the homework uh, thank you for listening see you